Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive, day 21 of Meat Mist 2022. And we are over here in Home Support Machine Gun with the Lottie M26. Ooh, big old machine gun. Ooh, got so much wood in this big chunkiness. Kind of looks like it's a Team Fortress gun. <laughs> the way it's set up. Got a bipod out here. Oh, look at that. Got all kinds of good stuff. Oh, oh, neat. It is not chambered in that. It is chambered in, uh, and I do not know if this is historically accurate. This is chambered in 762 by 54 r Not whatever that is or whatever that says it is. Both of these are different and both are wrong. <laughs> it was a very busy Christmas. I'll just say that. All right, enough messing around. Let's check it out. Ooh, almost punched my desk. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's look at the controls. We've got our magazine well on the bottom. <laughs> We're in a fresh mag. There we go. It fires open bolt. Here's our bolt handle. It's on the top and it sticks out to the right. There we go. Now it's open. Ah, the foregrip area. Yeah, okay. So forward of the magazine to about this point right here. You can grab on the nice, toasty, warm barrel area if you so choose. The sights are offset on the left. And there you go. We'll close the bolt on empty. Down on the trackpad does not eject the magazine. Let's see if you can do a tactical reload. Nope, cannot do a tactical reload with this guy. There we go, back in. So we've got to charge the bolt again our cells. Let's see if there's a bolt release or anything. No. Uh, your selector switch left on the trackpad as always. You've got safe. This is kind of cool. It's a two-stage trigger. Or not a two-stage trigger. Two-stage selector switch. So you got safe, semi, full auto, back to safe. All right. Semi. Full auto. Ooh. I like the green. Let's take a look at attachments. What do we have in the way of attachments? Uh, Picatinny rail. Oh, that'd be nice right there, wouldn't it? No Picatinny rail. It's not that kind of a gun. Uh, what about Russian dovetail mount? No, no Russian dovetail mount there. Let's see what goes on the barrel. Muscle brake. Muscle brake. <laughs> Muscle brake will go. Looks hilarious. Suppressor. Suppressor will go. It's Getting rid of that front sight. Actually, let me go back a second here. Is the muzzle brake? Oh, so the muzzle brake and the suppressor get rid of the front front post. Oh, and the oh, and the barrel extension and the the rail adapter. So that's gonna be interesting. So you've got oh, almost forgot the uh, bipod. Got a bipod on it. Kind of hard to miss, but there you go. Stock? Uh, no. Does this stock fold? No, that is a big stock. That is a serious stock. I like it. Got a wibbly bit, too. What else we got in the way of battle spatulas? Battle spatula will go. Also gets rid of that front post. Uh, Mosin bayonet. Yeah, I just got it lying around. Sure, that'll go. How about the AK bayonet? Is this the AK? No, that's the SVT bayonet. No, that won't go, and I don't think the AK bayonet will go either. Just to check. No, ah, uh, so that'll cover it for attachments. Take a look at our iron sights now. Here we go. We've got iron sights that are offset. So they're set up on the middle, but then they offset the post and the notch off to the left. Like that. They are adjustable. So they go down to 200 meters. When you spawn it, it's at 300. So you might want to adjust it down to 200 for most things in the game. Uh, and it'll go all the way out to an ambitious 1,500. In case you're getting way out there. But yeah, let's leave it down at 200. See how we do. Oh, let's take it off full auto. I'm not that ambitious. That's... That's pretty good. You know what? That's, that's better than it looks. It's got a really tall front post that's easy to see. Now, <laughs> what happens if I do this? Uh, yeah. Now we are playing a guessing game. 
Hmm. Fully automatic recoil test. Open bolt fun. Here we go. Six point nine five average. Pretty good for a big round like this. Let's try it with the muzzle brake since that takes the front post off it. I'm gonna put a laser underneath so I can see where I'm aiming. Ugh, here we go. Well, big improvement. 8.4. Big improvement on the recoil. Unfortunately, if you don't have a sight, you don't know if it's worth it. And finally, the suppressor. Seven point five five, not too bad. Pretty good group up there as well. One more test, and we'll try the bipod. Dink. Hey, hey, eight point five five. Really good numbers at the old bipod. Well, there you have it, the M twenty six Lottie. Till next time, I will see you. His sights are quite good. Oh, it's very loud, too.